हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर फिट एंड फाइन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास आई एम सरिता एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ पोयम नेमली मैविटी यू वुड हैव हर्ड अबाउट मैनी काइंड ऑफ कैट कैट्स आर सॉफ्ट एंड फरी कैट्स आर लवली एंड क्यूट बट टूडे वी विल रीड अबाउट द कैट हु इज अ मिस्ट्री कैट so macavity is the name of the cat who is a mystery cat so let us see the first paragraph macavity is a mystery cat he is called the hidden paw so here in this poem macavity is taken as a person so uh, the figure of speech is personification so uh, personification means when a non living thing or an animal is considered as a human being then it is called as personification so here macavity is personified he does all the things like a human being so here uh, macavity is a mystery cat and uh, he is uh, called as hidden paw hidden paw is the name given to uh, this mystery cat macavity so after that for he is a master criminal who can defy the law and he commits the crime in such a way that even uh, he can uh, make misguide the law even he can confuse the law so that's why he is called as a mystery cat and he is very mysterious he is the bafflement of scotland yard he is the bafflement of scotland yard means bafflement means confusion and scotland yard is an detective agency of british so it is a british detective agency so for that detective agency macavity is a confusion so even this detective agency cannot find macavity when he commits the crimes the flying squad's despair same like scotland yard flying squad is also a detective agency of british so for them also it is a despair means they are also in confusion to find out the crime committed by the mystery cat macavity so here for when they reach the scene of crime macavity is not there so uh, macavity commits the crime and she vanishes away very soon so these detective agencies scotland yard and flying squad they cannot find her at the place of the crime that's why it is called as the despair of flying squad and bafflement of scotland yard so macavity is not there macavity macavity there is no one like macavity so a uh, macavity macavity m letter m is repeated so here alliteration is the figure of speech and there is no one like macavity in the whole world nobody can be like macavity because he commits the crimes in such a way that he cannot be caught so that's why there is no one like macavity so let us find out the rhyming scheme of the first paragraph uh, at the end it is paw then paw is uh, rhyming with law this uh, this is one uh, first line children and this is the second line so paw is the last word in this line and law is the last word in this that other line so paw and law are the rhyming words for first and second lines then despair and dare are the rhyming words for the third and fourth line so if we uh, take paw as a then uh, law also we will take as a then the rhyming scheme will become a a and then despair and there will become b b so the rhyming scheme comes out as a a b b so he has broken every human law so macavity is so strong that he can uh, he has, has broken every human law even the law of gravity law of breaking the law of gravity means he disappears very soon within a fraction of seconds so it is believed that even he he is not affected by the gravitational pull his power of levitation would make a fakir stare his power of levitation levitation means to rise up in the air through some magical powers 
so uh, the power uh, it is believed that uh, he has some powers of levitation some magical powers through which he disappears very soon make a fakir stare fakir here it is taken as magicians so magicians can also be um, very confused after seeing her powers of levitation and when you reach the scene of crime macavity is not there or whenever you are you will reach at the scene of crime you cannot find macavity she disappears very quickly you may see him in the basement you may look up in the air so you uh, can see um, him in the on the ground or you can see him on, in the air but nowhere you will be able to find him but i tell you macavity is not there so macavity cannot be found after committing the crime even he don't leave any clue of crime there macavity is a ginger cat ab macavity is a ginger cat means wo ek adrak khane wali ya adrak cat nahi hai uska matlab hai he is very tall and thin because he is very tall and thin so he is called as a ginger cat you would know him if you saw him and if you will see him once you will be able to recognize him later because for his eyes are sunken in kyunki jo uski aankhe hain wo sunken hain jaise ki if anybody is uh, elder person you can see his or her face the eyes will be dhasi uh, hui aankhe hongi unki to sunken eyes hain मैकेविटी की सो एनी बडी कैन रिकग्नाइज हर आफ्टर सींग हर हिज ग्रो इज डीपली लाइन विद थॉट एंड हिज आई ग्रोज आर लाइन विद थॉट मीन्स इट इज अपियरिंग एज इफ ही इज प्रिपेयरिंग ही इज प्लानिंग फॉर समथिंग ही इज प्लानिंग फॉर सम अदर क्राइम सो आफ्टर सींग हिज आई ग्रोज वन कैन गेट्स हिज हैड इज हाईली डोंट and his head is in round shape so domed means in the shape of the dome so his head is highly domed now in this line head highly h his head highly letter h is repeated so which figure of speech is this alliteration so here it is alliteration figure of speech he is the despair of lime square and bafflement of scotland yard because when they reach at the place of crime he cannot be found there they couldn't find him his hat is dome shaped and his coat is dusty from neglect his coat is full of dust as he neglects cleanliness his whiskers are uncombed his whiskers means mooche they are also uncombed they are not in perfect shape he sways his head from side to side now we are talking about the movements of macavity he sways his head sways means from that side to this side so he sways his head from side to side he keeps swaying his head so here in this line sways side to side letter s is repeated so here alliteration is the figure of speech his head h letter is repeated so here again alliteration so in this line the figure of speech is alliteration with movements like a snake and his movements are compared directly to a snake when some uh, something is compared directly to uh, something then it is called as a uh, simile so like a snake it is simile here the figure of speech is simile and when you think he is half asleep and if you are thinking he is half asleep you are wrong he is always wide awake he keeps uh, awake he keeps himself awake widely he is always wide awake macavity macavity there is no one like macavity so in the whole world in the whole world there is no one like macavity he is the only one clever mysterious cat in the whole world and no one can be like her him and no one can be like him for he is a fiend in feline shape why it is uh, why there is no one like macavity because he is a fiend fiend means a, a, an evil spirit so in feline shape feline means cat so he is like a, a fiend in a 
cat shape so he is so much wicked that he is like a fiend fiend means evil spirit feline means cat so again in this line f letter is repeated so the figure of speech is alliteration a monster of depravity and he is like a monster of wickedness depravity means wickedness the person who is morally uh, corrupt so he is also a monster of depravity you may meet him in a by street you may see him in the square you can meet him anywhere after committing the crime but when a crime is discovered then macavity is not there but at the scene of crime if you try to find him he will not be there so this was all about the poem let's have a small recap of the poem macavity is a mystery cat who is also known as hidden paw and he is a despair of flying squad and uh, scotland yard bafflement of scotland yard uh, he had made them confused and they cannot find her these detective agencies of uh, british also cannot find him british agencies of scotland yard uh, british agencies scotland yard and flying squad cannot find him anywhere after committing the crime so he commits the crime and he disappears easily he has some powers of levitation it is believed like that his head is dome shaped then it comes to the appearance of the macavity his head is dome shaped his eyes are sunken in and if you see him once you will be able to recognize him later on and his coat is also very dusty as he neglects the cleanliness and he disappears um, very quickly his whiskers are also uncombed he sways his head from side to side like the movements of snake and he is like a monster he is like a fiend and whenever uh, you will be able to see him he can be found in a by street or in a square but when a crime is discovered he could not be found so this was all about the poem children hope you have understood if you have any doubts you can call me or message me till then take care bye bye